So Dave, we've got our sheets laid out. Yes. Okay. So how long these rolls are what? Typically 100 foot long. We can make custom length rolls, right? Yes. But typically a standard roll is 100 foot long. Mm -hmm. So it limits me to the longest my building I can do is 100 feet because I, what do I do about butt ends if I have to start a new roll? Well, if you have to start a new roll, start a new roll, but you butt it together. You don't overlap them. Absolutely not. Why can't I overlap them and weld that piece together? What do I have on the backside of that sheet? You have adhesive. I can't weld through adhesive, right? Well, no, you can't. And it won't stick anyway. So we have a butt end seam here. Yes. Basically what I would do, take a roll of what size? Eight inch flashing strip. What millage? 45 mil. And if this is 60 mil, why would I not use 60 mil on this? Because now with 45, you don't need T-joints We don't require T-joints. Yeah. So basically what I'm gonna do is take a roll of eight inch flashing strip. You can cut your own up, it's up to you. Right. I would go 45 mil. Absolutely. I'm gonna basically lay it in here. Now, this can go under the seam, it can go over top, it doesn't really matter, right? It depends on what you're doing. Yeah. If they're if the crew is laying up this before the- This will probably the, be already welded. Yeah. Well, yeah. Robot. If, if it's welded, you go over the top. Yeah. If it's not, you can go it's underneath. underneath. So right. basically, I'm going to take this roll. Now, these are sharp, so All right, you actually want me to do this, huh? Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll past our seam. You don't want to cut it flush, you want to go no. past. No, yes, because if you cut it flush, what happens? You're, you, you're going to have problems welding it for one thing, and you're going to And have the T. Yeah, T joint. So basically, that's all we're going to do. We're going to tuck under here. Yep. Let me pull. Take it place with a handgun, maybe take a robot and weld it, you're done. Right. So we talked about ways to do walls. Here we have these two sheets. We can actually do a standard, a typical dive into the deck. You could run it up, mm -hmm. put your termination bar, your plates and screws up the wall a couple inches, or on the flat, right? Correct. Take a separate piece and bring down over. Making sure that you have the salvage edge on the deck so you can weld it. If you're going to use, or you could use regular smooth and glue it, right? Yeah, Whatever you wanted to yeah. do. Or another alternative would be right here. So what, what will we do here, Dave, where we can take this and literally eliminate... Well, you can use our rust strip. Our RTA strip. Our RTA strip. Guys, kind of all right. kinds of different right. rust strip, RTA. The nice thing with this is you don't need primer on the rust strip or RTA strip. Right. Tape to tape works beautifully. But anytime you go vertical... With, with SA. With SA, you have to use our TPO primer. And we have this at one gallon, we also have five gallons, correct? Mm -hmm. Five gallon can if you get in a situation like a lot of walls do. So basically what we're going to do, we just eliminated another two piece. Yes. You know, because now, now i got to hang the splashing, i got to glue it, i got to weld it, i got to do all that, i got to roll it out, i got to kick it, i got to measure it and bring it to the wall. The wall could be three feet high, it could be five feet high. So this, I could take my sheet, once I get my RTA strip, roof, roof transition, anchor strip, rust strip, whatever you guys want to call it, you can either take it up the wall, mm -hmm. right, screw it in, or you can do it on the flat, mm -hmm. correct? Well, we have this on the flat, so what you do prior to running this sheet in, come and take this release paper, remove it, now I have adhesive to adhesive, tape to tape. You do. And I take my TPO primer and I'm going to prime this wall. You, can I use solvent-based adhesive? Not with the So uh, Just want to clarify, yeah, you have yeah. to use a primer. Oh, and don't use asphalt primer. <laughs> and don't use our red primer. <laughs> so this is where I see a lot, a lot of guys don't want to take the extra time to use our TPO primer. They just, they're gluing up walls or, or they'll glue everything. Yes. So it's not gonna, it's gonna fail in the long run. So once that's all glued, basically it's just a matter of, got your primer on there, remove the release cover. I'm gonna take this. Take this over, dive it into the wall. And then bring it right up the wall. And then bring it right up the wall, with primer. With primer. Right. And that's your one piece flash. Mm -hmm. Now, because it's adhered, you can turn your sheets, correct? Correct. So if I had a five foot wall, I would come out on the deck and run a hundred footer this way. So turn it. Right. Put your RTA strip right there. Basically, now we strip. have one of these every 10 feet. We mm -hmm. turn it, we got one every 100 feet. Exactly. Again, we went over layout, different different ways to lay it out. Right. So again, that's kind of 10,000 foot view of our, of our essay, different ways to do it. And guys are going to find their own way how to do it. Yes.